So I want to talk about conspiracy yeah. theory, and I don't. I, I love like this is like one of my favorite topics out there because I'm one of those people like if if you have any sort of conspiracy, I I automatically believe it. Like uh, Joe was giving me shit recently the other day. If any, anybody out there, I don't know if I'm going to seem like a loon here, but I actually fucking uh, you are going to seem like a loon. All right. Well, I actually somebody sent me something on MySpace about fluoride. And was basically telling me that, flu- you know, since I was a kid, you always heard like fluoride, you know, yeah. it helps toughen up your enamel and, you won't, to, and you, won't, you won't get cavities. They brought it to our classroom when we were kids and you'd have to gargle with it every morning. Jesus Christ. I'm well, serious. You, well, you, well, you're going to love to listen to this because somebody sent me this shit saying that fluoride is actually a poison. And I'm literally using natural toothpaste now. Listen to this shit. This is the conspiracy, the fluoride conspiracy. At the end of World War II... I'm going to fucking skip through the most of this. Here's some guy. He's a fucking dude. And uh, he's, <laughs> he was... Uh, okay, this guy... Where am I? Okay. At the end of World War II, the U.S. government sent Charles Elliot Perkins, a research worker in, a, in chemistry, biochemistry, physiology, and pathology. So right there, the guy's getting no pussy, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can't read all those fucking books. That guy is just rubbing them out while he's reading. <laughs> he's got a dick in a beaker. <laughs> <laughs> he's spooge on like a did, yeah. like a petri dish. He just uses his load as his bookmark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, when he's finished. Oh yeah, reading. he's got a mic- uh, microscope tickling his taint. All right. So, anyways, this guy was uh, was in charge to take charge of the uh, the Farben chemical plants in German, and uh, the German chemist is there. Listen to this. Told Perkins of a scheme where they had devi- that they had devised during the World War. It had been adapted by the German general staff. The German chemist explained of their attempt to control the population in any given area through the mass medication of drinking water with sodium fluoride. Right. A tactic used in German and Russian prisoner of war camps to make prisoners stupid and docile. Right. Now, here's what I want to know. Now, I'm... Norbit, the just, number one movie in the country right now. Just to pull, just to uh, support our sources here, uh, some of the information we're going to be talking about is coming out of the Rough Guide to Conspiracy Theories by James... Uh, Macanachi and Robin T- Tudge, uh, I guess is how that's pronounced. Uh, but in that book, it says the same thing that uh, some believe that uh, fluoride is a Nazi communist CIA uh, government ploy, blah, 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 blah. The, all the same shit you're talking about. Now, what I want to know, though, is. It's not shit, dude. It's fucking true. What I want to know is. <laughs> I believe it. Is, well, this is what I want to know. Is there is that proven that Nazi and communist uh, governments had actually done that, or is it just theorized that they had done that? I got it right here in print, man. <laughs> is that your the gemstone file? I got it, man. I got it right here, dude. I'm saying, right? You walk around. Have you seen just people like the looks on them? You walk by a food court. That's fluoride, man. Everybody's sitting there. With, the fucking mouth hanging open. I don't think that's fluoride. Eating I think like that's, orange chicken. I think that's mainstream mediocrity, but I wouldn't argue that the mainstream media has been dumbed has has been purposely dumbed down to dumb down. Joe, the can you in stick with way. one conspiracy here? Well, I'm saying, uh, you know what? I don't know how I feel about this one. I can't say that I don't believe that 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 that, that pumping fluoride into the water supply is a way. To dumb down the public, but I don't know if that's been proven. Is my point? Has anybody? Proven? Let me ask you this: Do you think that they would do something like that? It seems a little extreme. It seems a little. Eh. I, I don't understand people who trust the government, Dude, who actually think that they're going to do like money's involved. You, you take the average asshole, Joe. Listen to me. I'm listening to you. You you you, you take the average ass. You got your face in the book. No, just. Go ahead. I'm listening. You take the average asshole, okay? Just a regular guy, whatever, right? You make him a bouncer. You give him a little bit of power, he immediately becomes a dick, right? So you get people up at the, the, the governmental level, that kind of power. The, 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 the yeah, but the bouncer doesn't start roofing everybody that walks through the door. So he's no, he doesn't. But you know what he them. does? Like they'll just beat the shit out of somebody just for the sake of it because they think it's funny. Eh, I, I know a lot of bouncers that don't do that. So I mean, that's kind of a. I know a bouncer who does do uh, it. So that, that cancels out your other. fictitious bouncer Listen, that you just brought up. Here's the thing, though. Here's the counter argument. Daddy, let me ask you this. We need to bounce something off somebody. Let me before before right, you get into right, the right, counter right, up, right. over there. Uh, would you believe that somebody that uh, that people would they would they would that there was enough money and power involved that they would uh, you know or whatever just trying to control people that they would actually put something in the water supply just to keep people kind of just kind of even keeled. Sure. Absolutely. I would, I would definitely go there. Why wouldn't you think that? Like. 
I think like fast food, I think those are all owned by the government. Like anytime the government fucks up, like McDonald's has like a new sandwich all of a sudden. Just to kind of I mean, as far fetched as it as it can but, sound to somebody, you know, it it's perfectly plausible to another. But then why can't Bill Bill why can't you believe then we had the argument the other day about the media the mainstream media being dumb and I said it's 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 of certain people's opinions that it's good for morale for radio and television and movies to be mediocre so you stay dumb you stay in one place you don't tr you don't feel you don't feel stupid you actually feel superior to it and you were like do you actually believe that like you acted like it was the most ridiculous thing ever so how can you believe cuz you didn't have it in print Joe I, I, do went, have on, it in I print. went on the internet, <laughs> and I. That's what I'm saying, Joe. This the, is the, the point of this, Joe. Is all you, I never look at the other side. Okay. All you gotta do is just tell me some sort of conspiracy. If I read it, <laughs> I fucking believe it. And now I, after thirty something years of, of brushing with Crest, I said, "Fuck Crest." I actually called them up. I called up their office, and they said, "Hello, this is Crest." I said, "Yeah, this is Bill Burr." Fuck Crest. <laughs> and the lady said, well, listen, I just answered the phones. This really isn't, you know, I didn't come up with it. I don't know why you're coming down on me. And I said, you know what? You're right. If you could pass that on to one of your higher ups. I said, fuck Crest. This and is she promised me that she would. So now I am now brushing with this. <laughs> this is the counter argument. I can't, I can't even. Aero Mare. It's an herbal toothpaste that includes the, <laughs> includes the toothbrush Christ. trees, neem, and pilu. Did that come free in a box of tampons? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the I feel better. Here's the counter argument. It's important that we just lay out both sides of this. American Dental Association claims to have continuously endorsed fluoride in community water supplies. Environmental Protection Agency, the American Medical Association, the National Academy of Sciences all endorse the National Research Council Fluoride Review. Uh, that's all governmental which shit. Which is cited by doctors, dentists, researchers, public health officials, uh, and they, and it underlies the, the safety of fluoride, the benefits of putting fluoride in the water. De I give you a big we on that. Dentists aren't. <laughs> what what does a dentist have to? You know, they're not linked to the government. It's a fucking your dad's a dentist for Christ's yeah, sake. Yeah, but he didn't do any research on fluoride. He just fucking showed well, up. Well, neither did we. <laughs> I did. I actually did research on this one too. Dude, don't you understand that a fucking dentist. He, first of all, he's not a goddamn scientist. He's not going to be out on the lake with one of those little glass things shaking it. <laughs> doing that shit, right? <laughs> Trying to figure out stuff, okay? Why on a lake? Why would he be... Huh? Why is he a water a supply, a reservoir. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay? All right. Mm -hmm. So what, 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 what I'm saying, dude, is okay. that someone who becomes a dentist is no different than someone who went to customer service. You, yeah. You're not, you're not striking out on your own. Like, I, I'm going to, I'm going to cut my own path. You, you, you basically, you, you're, you're a cubic, you don't have a cubicle, but, but, but. I agree with that point, but my point is also, the counter, what I'm saying is also, in addition to that, is that, that also means a dentist has no idea to be part of the conspiracy. You know what right. I mean? And I think it takes a... I, I think it's in the books. The government approves the books. They read the books. Everybody's been paid. They've been paid back in the day. Somehow it goes back to the Rockefellers. Let's talk to Brendan here on uh, on line seven. Okay. Brendan from Wisconsin. What do you think about uh, what I'm thinking? You know, do you think I'm an idiot for switching to Aeromare? <laughs> Bill, you have no idea. You have no idea how right you are. Uh, it was 1984. I had hosted a German student in '82 at my house. My family did, uh -huh. and so after I graduated, I went to Germany. Uh, I used to catch total hell because my feet would stink. You'd you'd you'd, you'd wear socks and leather shoes in summer, and and they took me to this old family doctor. Take me in the back way into the hospital, and he gives me formaldehyde to mix in like a four to one ratio, soak your feet in this for three days, everything will be fine. But while we're sitting there talking to this guy, the the father of the family we stayed with was kind of a connected government official type guy, and we get to talking about doc, with Dr. Tony about different ways that the, that the uh, German government used chemical treatments to control their population, and exactly what you're talking about, sodium fluoride came up. He was one of the guys that administered the program. This is absolutely true, and he said it was one of the greatest things they ever did to get compliance in the early 30s and all throughout the 30s. Uh, it made the entire rise of the Third Reich completely possible. I, I, it, I'm and, this is with, with, and this is with using sodium fluoride. And this using is this, sodium fluoride. And I know there's different, I read up on this, different kinds of fluoride, but this is like the fluoride that's allegedly like like in toothpaste. My point is this, though, with, with that. Look, if the Third Reich actually did it, right? 
Yes. Uh, you know, I mean, did that make the fluoride make the fucking third right possible, or did the guns and smashing the shop windows and shooting people and massive fucking uh, uh, homicides make the third right? Well, I mean, if you go back you know. to the 1933 Reichstag fire, the the, oh, yes. the the all that set in motion had to have a base of control underneath it. You needed to be able to have that fear take root. Kind of sounds similar to 2001 when when Bill Hicks used to always do his rant about uh, American gladiators. Go back to bed, America. You have the freedom to do what we tell you. And and, and the whole deal about uh, you know how we're so dumbed down by our television today when they want to do these things and 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 make us fearful of our government and and then enact horrific laws to take over our freedoms. It, it, it's it's almost a replay of the whole thing. All right, so, so years ago. So Brent, all right, Brent. Thanks for calling in. Okay, so we we got a guy. We actually got a guy calling in. Starting to be insulted the way I described dentists. We got uh, Joe from Maryland <laughs> calling uh, uninformed. Yeah, Bill Burr and Joe DeRosa, uh, who actually is a dentist. What's going on, Joe? Hey, guys. I was just uh, you know the, the the fluoride thing. You said it was a poison, and that's true in large amounts. But so is almost any medication you would take. So you know you're not going to stop taking. Motrin for a headache just because if you take a whole bottle of it, it's going to kill what, you. What I read here was it says that, you know, if you actually put it on your teeth, it might be a good thing, but it's not meant to be ingested. And they, they have it in that it's a pot. It's not, they have it in the drinking water. It's not like it's just like in toothpaste. They also have it in the drinking water, which according to this conspiracy is saying that it's used to, uh, you know, keep the, the, the basically the population stupid and docile. What did they yeah, sell you when, when when you went to uh, when you went to uh, dental school? Did they ever bring up fluoride? Did they have some some chick come out with hot legs dressed like a tooth, and they just kind of <laughs> fucking put fluoride on? He's all right. Fluoride's a good thing. Did you ever know anybody who did any like? Because I'm seriously asking because I got totally freaked out and I switched to this natural toothpaste because uh, I, I don't know I, I get freaked out right, by right. like you that. Might, you might feel smart, but you're gonna have a hell of a lot of cavities to deal with. I have no cavities. Well, well, that's because you just switched. Yeah, but how do you know? You've done you've done no research on 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 natural toothpaste. Well, uh, well, that's not exactly true. I have done research, but uh, you know, it just as part of my uh, dental school training, I did some research, not particularly on that subject. Yeah, but he's but in the I've matrix, read, man. I've read, I've read a lot this of guy's in the matrix. I, I I agree with <laughs> I agree with what he's saying, man. It's it's large doses of anything. Uh, look, perfect example of what we're talking about. This guy's bringing up. Uh, they're not this guy. The last guy was bringing up 2001. So let's talk about current situation in the United States. Has has fluoride in the water prevented anybody in our country from yelling out against Bush and reacting negatively uh, against his policies and and the war in Iraq and all that stuff? Nobody's sitting at home going, oh, dear, okay, we're going to war. <laughs> like it's you know, like nobody's doing that. So uh, I don't see. I don't no, know. But I don't see what thing, he's doing. I, I think it's. <laughs> that was a fantastic impression of somebody stupid. Uh, <laughs> uh, sodium alone is poison. This guy's saying. Uh, we got some people on my side. Let me let me just ask, okay. talk. I just want to talk to maybe some regular people if they decided to yeah. switch or something. Because I'm like totally freaked out. The same way I got freaked out by like antiperspirant. It's like you're literally putting a chemical on your body that stops you from sweating. How the fuck? Is that health? I mean, right? Just common sense. That's like that's fucked up. I, I understand it's like those that. Pink, you ever see those pink snowballs with the mushrooms inside that people eat? It's like a. It's like why yeah, would snowballs. You, yeah, why would you eat that fucking thing? It's wrong. On like eight, it's like eat. It's like. Yeah, but dude, it's, it's like, coconut covered pig assholes. Why would you eat an apple that's been sprayed with preservatives? You know, did you ever see twenty eight? I know. Days I'm, later? I'm, I'm trying to go to the uh, the, the, the 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 organic stores. I'm buying into all this shit, Joe. I did all of it. Know, all right, yeah. let's let's talk to uh, G String. G String, what's up, man? You're on uninformed. Yeah. Hey. Um, well, there's a couple of ways you can tell if fluoride is bad for you. Look at the material data handling safety sheet on it, and that comes from like our government, and it'll tell you like one tenth of a grain or something, and it's permeable to the brain just by like near brain, like it'll it's into you anyway. Um, yeah, like affects your thyroid then, or something like that. See, Joe, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Like, like it, it, they they don't do it enough so everybody fucking dies. They do it just enough so just enough people are, as you say, oh, duh, uh, <laughs> sitting on the fucking couch, Joe. And you go on the road, man. And you perform, and when you look out, dude, you can't feel. People are getting dumber. 
I know, but then why am I not there's that way then? Because you, know, you don't brush your teeth, Joe. Shut down right now. <laughs> I've been meaning to tell you about <laughs> your breath. But do you know, there's a town shut down because of fluoride poisoning right near you guys called Love Canal. Love Canal, a Ooh. place where people won't live called Love Canal, where, where they're actually repopulating now. But it's like right near Niagara. Okay, you really need to look that up. Well, Niagara made it seem kind of true. There's actually a town called Love Canal. Love Canal. It's called a town called Love Canal. It's it's a Superfund site. If you look up Superfund, Google Superfund, Love Canal. Oh, well, Jesus Christ. All right, all right. But if it's a Superfund site, you know, that's that's a whole other fucking issue with with health, uh, with health. The, the healthiness of the area to live. All right, here's some here's somebody who's believing you. Okay, uh, uh, Mike Mike in New Jersey, line five. Mike, what's up, man? You think I'm nuts? Yeah, you're a little nuts, dude. Because look at it this way: the world's pretty fucked up right now as it is, so the fluoride ain't working. And I, I got one question: Why don't people start putting it in, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken and grape soda? Because that right. would solve some Can problems. Can I address your really first point? Can I address your first sure. point? The world is fucked up for a lot of people who are under the thumb of a lot of people, but the world is fucking great now for a very select few who are making a shitload of money. Well, I, I agree with that. I believe in that. I mean, so that's why I'm so torn on this. I don't like how we had to go racist on it, though. What do you say? Why aren't they putting fluoride in Kentucky Fried Chicken and grape soda? It's, you know... it's. Oh, I totally missed that. Why does everybody have to go racist? I don't understand. Ah, it's like, a little... You know, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Just as... Okay, he, okay. Here, here's a guy who wants to ease my mind. Uh, is that Arkansas? Scott, what's up, man? You gonna eat hey, my mind up? about fluoride? Because I'm telling you, man, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm freaking out about this shit. Hey, th well, you know, and, and you're not crazy because that's what that uh, propaganda machine does. You know, they that's what they feed off of. And half these people that are saying fluoride's bad are selling stuff that is going to help you rid your body of this fluoride. And you know, I'm a dentist, and you know, fluoride. Hey, it's in the it's in the earth, it's in the water. And when they <laughs> it was put in the water. water. All right, time out, time out. It was put in the yeah. water. It was put in the well, water. Okay, what they're actually doing is they're adjusting the naturally occurring levels of fluoride to a beneficial level. If you go out to the ocean, if you test a sample of that, there's going to be fluoride in the ocean. Well, there, there's a bunch of different kinds of fluoride. Are you saying there's sodium fluoride? You know, I really don't know the answer to that. And question. you know what? i got to respect for you the fact that you didn't say that, because you know what? I only half knew about that, too, because I just read it, so I was really going on a limb. So both a couple of fucking idiots, which really is what this show is... But he raises he raises an interesting point with the whole fear and consumption argument of these companies that are you know it, it's just like when but dude it it is propaganda on both sides and I, I know I great. know but yeah. I'm just supporting that side of it all yeah right. but it but it's just like it's like with health food when it was like all of a sudden it was like hey everybody uh, steak and most meat is bad for you so uh, come into this health food vegany place and be charged up your ass for a fucking salad with nuts in it. You know what I mean? It's, exactly. It, you know. Okay. Uh, so I, I see what you're saying. That's All right, Scott. Well, th thanks for calling. Here's a guy a little more hardcore. Go to, go to line eight. Hey, Tom in Connecticut. What's up, man? You're on uninformed. What's going on? You are a moron. There's one pipe that goes into the Pentagon that isn't uh, affected with the uh, fluoride water. What, what do you what think? Do you what what you happens with this conspiracy people when they go on vacation? Do they take their own unfluoride water with them? All right, slow down, the, slow down. Where are the people that run this conspiracy? Oh, that's what you... Okay, I know what you're saying. That That was the one where, like... I should have prefaced this with, like, I always believe, like, 80% of the theory, a conspiracy theory, then I think the person's a moron. Or and I think, or, or, or... Because it can't work. What? Well, and what the fuck? You know, you know everything? I don't like how you're speaking in office. I know more than Oh, you I live in Connecticut. Jesus, God, no, you know what? Why don't you go sit on a tube of fucking fluoride? Yeah, fuck, uh, go fuck yourself. Thanks for listening. Yeah, who puts the fluoride in the water? Who's doing it? <laughs> Well, the, 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 the suspicion is that the government is doing it. That's the conspiracy right, part. Who, where do they get their water from? Why the they fuck are you so angry? Yeah, why, why are you yelling? Why can't you just make they your points? I listen to Bill Burr spew this shit day after day whenever he co-hosts for Jim Norton. I gotta sit next to him and he fucking bullshits 20 fucking different conspiracies. He said I gotta sit next to him. I don't know what he's talking about. Okay, is this somebody from... No, no, I love this guy. I love this guy. Let me ask you a question. Can you at least give me one... Not at one. Give, you said 20. I've said 20 different conspiracy theories. I want to hear... Get, rattle off like seven of them. One's the World Trade Center. 
thought it was important. You've, you've talked about that one. I never what talked about that one. This conspiracy with that stupid book that you recommended, with that fucking guy that traveled around with the oil conspiracy. Did you read it? Yeah, I read half of it. I read enough of it. I read as much as Anthony read. Tell, tell me about it. Tell me about it. And then you have to, another no, 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 no. Tell me about the book. Tell me about the book. You read the book. I want to hear about it. The, the oil guy? He wants to be some fucking secret agent. He was some Tell me worker. about the book. Level government worker. Tell me. You're not yeah. telling me about the book. You didn't read the book. Right. Okay. It's written by this guy who is this low-level fucking government worker that wants to be this hero, so he talks like he's a secret agent. Meanwhile, he was a paper... No, person. this is your opinion. This is company. your opinion on the book. You're not no, even saying not what... it's my it, opinion. You're not saying what it's about, sir. The book stunk. I read it like a... You know, all right, hang on. All right, Tom. You know what, Tom? You have to keep calling in. I'm loving you hating me. No, you know something? You, you all the time have these conspiracy theories. Tell me where the fucking fluoride water isn't that the government, they can drink it. First of all... He makes it... He does, all, can, can, can you just fan yourself for half a second? First of all, I said I get like 80% of the way. And, dude, I definitely thought, well, the guys putting it in the water also have kids who are going to be drinking water. And I brought that up. Oh. But maybe I didn't bring it up here. Yeah. Like, I brought that up. My, but I didn't feel the need to yell at it there, angry guy. You, angry Tom you in Connecticut. You changed your toothpaste for it. You you actually were proactive because of some bullshit story that you actually this is, dude, dude. It, it's 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 fifty fucking fifty. I gotta, the way I look at it. I gotta jump. Stupid. I gotta jump in with this. I like this. how this guy is not a scientist on, every, on any level yet. He knows I everything. I'm a scientist. I I gotta I'm jump in. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. wait. I gotta jump in with this. It's just too perfect of a time because this, this guy, guy is, is fucking okay. this guy is railing right. Bill for how paranoid he is. I was over Bill's house one day, and you know those games they have like at the top of the MySpace page, Danny, right? Yeah. Where it's like it's like you play it with your mouse, and it's like win, beat the rabbit in a race, and win an iPod. And you have to click the mouse. Yeah, really, that's terrible <laughs> flash games. Bill is playing it. And I'm standing there watching him, and he goes, he turns, he goes, you know, these fuckers, you know who makes these games? It's the fucking companies that make the mouse. And that way I fucking keep clicking it, and I break the fucking mouse, and I gotta go buy a new mouse, because I'm trying to beat a goddamn, I'm trying to win a fucking PlayStation 3, and I just go, dude, you are out of your fucking mind. But <laughs> well, dude, I'm only 80, I'm only like 80%, alright Tom, you've yelled at me enough. <laughs> call, call in, call in in a month, dude. You gotta save that anger, dude. I'll see you at the after party, I will see you at the after party. Right. Okay, Come all right. Down. I'll buy you a drink, Come all right? Down. All right, Tom, all right, thanks for listening and yelling at me. Douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I got to admit, I do deserve a lot of that because I definitely get, like, like paranoid. But, dude, you got to also admit, like, you've seen, like, these cigarette ads, how, like, that Joe Camel, they to try to make his nose look like some sort of, it was a cock or something like that. You stop like, it? You don't believe in that shit? Like, the subliminal shit. You don't believe in any of that. What that, was that, making that, his nose... Huh? His nose looks like a cock. So what does that have to do with it? I mean, I've heard that, but I've never understood why that would make you want to buy cigarettes. Because his nose looks like a dick. Look, I'm not saying whether it works or not, but dude, this... No, but this, what's the but reasoning this, this, behind this, that, this, I'm asking you? I don't know, dude. I didn't do, I didn't do like... <laughs> I didn't do the advertising, but I can give you one that they actually did admit to. Like, back in the day, like, when they had... When they would show you films in the movie theater, they would quickly flash like food or something like that. Right. And it would subliminally get in your fucking head and you'd go out and go do it. So right. I'm not even saying the shit works, but if they try to do stuff like that and to sit there and, and if you see some of the horrific shit that leaders of the world have done to their own, sit down and drop poison on his own fucking people. Why wouldn't they slide just a little bit in there just to keep everybody kind of mellow? Dude, it's not unbelievable. It's not, but I mean the strong argument is... And it actually came from that guy, which is uh, if you know if 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 they're if they're the ones putting it in we the water, water, then they have to drink it too. You know. Uh, we got we got to talk to uh, okay. Here's a water tech who wants to ease my mind. Everyone wants to ease my mind. Okay. All these guys in the matrix, so. uh, uh Silver in Wisconsin. He probably killed that other guy from Wisconsin who believed in me. <laughs> Silver, what's going on? You, can you have me calm down so I can go back to Crest? No, no, I can't tell you anything about toothpaste, but I can let you drink the water out of your faucet again. What? First, let me ask you this. Did you skip third grade? Did I? No. I actually did you first grade twice because my brother flunked the fucking third grade, <laughs> and my dad had an all-for-one, one-for-all policy. So when he had to stay back, I had to stay back, too. It sucks. Oh, I love you guys. All right. <laughs> the amount of... <laughs> You fuckers are crazy. The amount of sodium fluoride in drinking water is like one part sodium fluoride to about 185 million parts water. 
Okay, now let me ask you that. Oh, let me ask you a question about that. So how the fuck is that helping my teeth? If How's it helping your teeth? If it's that little. It back. Because it's very potent. So like that kills your whole point. argument, dude. You just killed your whole argument. You're telling me it's very no. potent. Yes, it's very potent. Dude, you know what you That's do? You open doing. and close the fucking drawbridge at a reservoir. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you know that you don't need to study at all to have that job either? Like anybody can get it. Like you don't exactly. even need like these a GED. Guys, they're, they're... You don't even. Need Honestly, this is what. This is the. That is, the... that is true. That is very true. Oh, it is. Everything that. <laughs> I just trying to piss him off, and he went with it. <laughs> no, everything that I learned, I learned on the job. I started a job when I was eighteen. I'm thirty-seven now. Well, Tom, come down to the after party tonight. Yo, I gotta bring. I gotta bring that up. I didn't realize that. Okay, thanks for coming down. I got that. That was Anthony. We'll go to line six. Anthony was calling in. That son of a bitch. I thought that Anthony. That was Anthony. That wasn't Tom from Connecticut. Dude, you fucking. Uh, oh, is this somebody telling me that yeah, that that's not Anthony? Dude. Yeah, Billy, you sit next to him all the time. You should know. It's he said in the call, I sit next to you and got to listen to this shit every day. I I leaned over and I go, is this fucking Norton or somebody? Like I thought that too. Oh, I was just literally like, this guy's calling me a douchebag, so I went on fuck you mode. So I wasn't even I listening think, to the details. I, I think he was fucking with you. No, he wasn't. He was he was fucking with me in that he wasn't letting me know it was him, but he meant That's everything I, that he said. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known it was him when it was the same when he had the, he had read the exact same portion of the book. And Anthony, like, yeah, yeah, hey, the guy, the guy's a fucking douchebag. Well, <laughs> That's hilarious. Either way, we'll be at the. Uh, after party tonight, right? And uh, you know, oh, come and, on uh, down. After party. Come on, Bob. Maybe, maybe Tom from Connecticut can show up. That's fucking hilarious. Come on, son of a bitch. He even said it. He goes, "I'll see you at the after party." And Danny told us after party that uh, he was coming. So, well, a lot of other listeners said that they were coming. That doesn't make you Anthony. Nobody said it. <laughs> no, one other person said Did that we? they were coming. Did we get one? That's yeah. coming. Oh, that's great. Yeah, Collins Bar between on Eighth Avenue between Forty Sixth oh, yeah, Forty Seventh Street. <laughs> After party, Collins Bar, Eighth Avenue between Forty Sixth and Forty Seventh. And uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna take a break here. Uh, we're talking about fluoride. Evidently, I'm a jackass, and I can't recognize <laughs> the voice of a guy who I uh, sit next to. I don't remember arguing about nine eleven. You know what it is? A lot of times I don't listen to Anthony. I just zone him out. I find him to be very boring. He's just like a he's like a well read redneck. That's all he is. You know what I mean? And uh, he's got a wonderful car, and I'm really going to take a fucking my apartment key and scratch it tonight if he shows up to the after party. It's hilarious. All right, man. Thanks Thanks for listening. After party. We'll be back in a minute. God, I can't believe I didn't know this. that was Anthony. What a fucking dope I am. <laughs> I also love that my, my stupid theories annoy him so much that he literally, he's probably been listening for like all three shows just waiting <laughs> for me to somehow start spewing out my horse shit. So that he could just and just ruin my fucking night and act like he was here. God bless you. <laughs> that was you great. Son of a bitch. That was really great, man. Yeah. That was really, really funny. I hope funny. you spill a ginger ale on your fucking PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> I had a All hunch. Right. I had a hunch. So, so anyway, somebody actually, and so what's funny is, is during the break, both Danny and uh, somebody uh, waiting, Keith, was saying, Bill, you spent two hours arguing about 9-11 with Anthony. And I literally argue with him so much. I have like a vague... Like recollection, I remember arguing about the book, but I don't even remember arguing about nine. You have an ability to uh, annoy people, tune out during an argument, and do other. We got in an argument. Yeah, but I won't forget an argument. But we got into an argument before the last show when we, we were arguing about Air America, uh-huh. and it was fucking hilarious because it was like we were married or some shit. Because you just started doing dishes mid argument, but you were still <laughs> fully in it. You were like over your shoulder. Yo, you fucking promise, yo, you fucking lean say. <laughs> hey, I got strong opinions, and I like to c- keep a clean fucking house. That yeah, was really funny. So uh, we, we d- during the break. So anyways, I, I gotta admit, you know, so I, I don't know what the deal is. We were talking about uh, fluoride, whether it's actually dumbing down the population or <laughs> stopping cavities. Could you fucking have a more extreme <laughs> views? This is like, yes, yeah, this is great. So I'm gonna stick with. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna stick with the herbal toothpaste. But I gotta admit, in the back of my head, um, I've already envisioned going to the dentist with, uh, you know, have you asked plus your, ho- your dad about this? He's, My, he's they're in the matrix, man. They just they fucking they get spoon fed that shit, dude. That's like you know. Did you ever see the story on Christopher Columbus? And then you like read the 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 the, the real story on some of the shit. I'm not saying no, no, all no, that yeah, horrific shit. Yeah, you know, he's I over know. here chopping off arms and shit. And I'm you know 
picture him dressed like uh, he's on the Quaker Roats box, <laughs> you know, coming over here, help patching up canoes for the Indians. Yeah, I, you know. But you also, Bill told me during the break, believes that the uh, conspiracy theory that we never landed on the moon. I believe that's quite possible. Aspects of that, and I'm gonna tell you why I, I believe in that shit, is because all these fucking nerds out there with their telescopes. They're always looking at the moon, and they never go, Hey, yeah, I was looking at it the other night. I saw that car that we left up there. What? I saw the flag. I mean, you can see, if you can fucking see Pluto, you can but see the goddamn, you, that, that I, fucking uh, gremlin that we left up there. I don't and, know. And, 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 and you never see it. I don't know if you could see that. I don't, I, I don't know if... But you don't know that you couldn't. All right, guys, enjoy the show. No little Jimmy Norton today. He's got a sour stomach. Oh, uh, he thinks he ate a little uh, a bad fish or something. He was he was he was farting pretty bad over at the other joint. Yeah, it was not almost pleasant. Re- almost wrecking all our omelets. So, all right. Hey, uh, and speaking of the Saturday night shows. Yeah. Uh, Bill Burr did his this past Saturday. Yes, he did. I was gonna stop by and check it out, but I got lazy. I got lazy. Should have. I know. I heard it was a good time, but I guess you. Uh, I guess you got. Uh, you got him. Um, well, I wasn't trying to get him. I just made a legitimate call into the uh, into the show, and well, um, he didn't pick up on it. No. No. What a dope. Danny put me through five times. Uh, before I got through this time with disguised voices, I was like, you know, Danny, you I want to his... talk. I want to talk about this. this. Is Tom from? Uh, I'm from Georgia, and I'd like to uh, talk about uh, what. The... And I give him something to go. Okay, hold on. And he put me on hold, and I wait. And then Bill Burr is total attention deficit disorder. I'm listening to the show, they put you on hold, and then the subject will be completely changed by the time like he even tries to get to you. In two minutes, the subject's different. And then Danny, oh, they moved on to something wow. else. Uh, that's Craig, our, oh, our intern. Yeah, I need I need the slaves to come help me out. On that. All right, well, nice. So they didn't recognize that it was Anthony calling Bill Burr, and then when Anthony got on Bill Burr's show, what is it called? Uninformed. Yeah, uninformed, uninformed with uh, DeRosa, right, Joe yep. DeRosa. Mm-hmm. Uh, they didn't recognize that was Anthony. And then Anthony, what were you doing? The same arguments you've done with Bill Burr when he's in studio, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Because Bill started talking about his conspiracy theories, and you know how much I love those. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I decided, um, you know, I'll call him out on that because they started talking about conspiracy theories and I'm bringing up the exact same stuff it's the same argument we have had sitting face to face two feet from each other uh, and he just and I'm not disguising my voice at all and he just had no clue it was me yeah I didn't catch it either until the very very end you said something I'm, I won't you know I won't ruin it for the yeah, call at said, one and point I, was like, and that I was the totally only point give it away that was, uh, where I was like I think that was Ant and then re-listening to the call this morning cutting it up I'm like oh man I feel like such an ass <laughs> like it's so <laughs> obviously <laughs> so obviously <laughs> right. I'm throwing in all kinds of <laughs> not even hints they're blatant hello it's Anthony but Bill didn't even catch it on? No, but no. Uh, to be fair, I didn't either. The only one that kind of even began to caught on was with DeRosa. So we get, oh. Can we get Bill Burr on the phone? He's in L.A. I, I would have to wake him up. Oh, uh, yeah, well, he's got a try. A, an audition. We'll try. We'll see what happens. But this is, uh, in case you missed it, from Saturday night, Bill Burr's uninformed show with De, uh, Joe DeRosa, Tom in Connecticut, a.k.a. Anthony. Hey, Tom in Connecticut, what's up, man? You're on uninformed. What's going on? You are a moron. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. I can that's tell how right. it starts. I can tell right away. Yeah, that's how it started. <laughs> you are a moron. <laughs> there's, there's one pipe that goes into the Pentagon that isn't uh, affected with the uh, fluoride water. What, what do you what think? Are you ta- what what are you- happens with this conspiracy people when they go on vacation? Do they take their own unfluoride water with them? All right, slow where down, the, slow down. Where are the people that run this conspiracy? Oh, that's what. Okay, I know what you're saying. That that was the one where like, I should have prefaced this with like, I always believe like 80 percent of the theory, a conspiracy theory. Then I think the person's a moron, or I think, or 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 because it can't work. What? Well, what the fuck? You know, you know everything. I don't like how you're speaking in off. I know. Absolutely. Oh, I live in Connecticut. (laughs) (laughs) No idea. He has no idea. I I live in Connecticut. That's just a state I picked. I've been through five states already that night, and I I just picked Connecticut. Uh, Talking about a conspiracy theory that fluoride is introduced into the water supply to To make you stupid. He believes this. Uh, Yeah, enough so where he changed his toothpaste. 
from Crest to some natural toothpaste, and I'm laughing at him. I'm like, wait, he really believes this? Yeah. Oh, we got to get into it. And then he goes, he goes, I believe it, you know, but then there's 20% of me that does, you know, re realizes how ridiculous it sounds, but, you know, I'm like, and I'm trying to argue, what about the people that just have to drink water and they're out? Like, yeah. does this secret society that runs this whole thing have their own bottled water? And what about their families? They don't care if they're dumbed down? And what about the fact that he said this happened during, you know, World War II or just after World War II? They started dumbing us down with fluoride. Uh, some of the greatest inventions of all time were made post-war till now. Uh, before that, we were dummies in covered wagons and, you know, riding horses. But the fluoride's making us stupid. Oh, my God. He listen. is classic, and I just was blowing up What's at classic him. classic is making fun of your town of Connecticut, but he has no idea. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I've sat here with the same argument with him. Does he have a clue? Times. Did anyone ever tell him? Yeah, well, finally, a, a, yeah. Afterwards, uh, you know, people were calling in, you know, saying, "I think that was, oh, you know, okay. I think that was it." Here's the rest of uh, the clip uh, where he doesn't realize it's Anthony. Absolutely. Oh, I live in Connecticut. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you go sit on a tube of fucking fluoride? Yeah, fuck, uh, go fuck yourself. Thanks for listening. Who's doing it? Well, the, 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 the suspicion is that the government is doing it. That's the conspiracy part. Where do they get their water from? Why the fuck are you so angry? Yeah, why, why are you yelling? Why can't you just make your points? I listen to Bill Burr spew this shit day after day whenever he co-hosts for Jim Norton. I gotta sit next to him and he fucking bullshit 20 fucking different conspiracies. I gotta sit next to him. I don't know what he's talking about. Okay, is this somebody from... No, no, I love this guy. I love this guy. See, he see Joe, Joe is onto it. Joe is like, well, wait a second, but wait, Bill just Ed doesn't. Says he sits yeah, next, I, I Bill, sit next to him. Bill, Bill just doesn't want to. He, he just doesn't want to listen to Joe. And Joe's and, like, and, wait and, a minute, is this a guy? Bill's on like autopilot. Yeah, Bill's just like, no, shut, he's like, he's just like shooting him off. Like, shut up, Joe. I'm talking. Bill's to you. on <laughs> autopilot. <laughs> it's classic. As soon as you said that, I'm like, oh, you blew up your spot. This yeah. is a great bit. And you hear Joe say, "Is this somebody from?" Somebody from. And then Bill cut him off. Yeah. yeah. And to be honest, I still didn't get it at that point either. I just thought that the guy on the phone just said it kind of uh, mistakenly, me meaning to say, "I got to listen to you." Oh, right. Okay. Right. You know, and just yeah, that's what I assumed. Out out, yeah. Why, yeah. Sat next, Mr. Burr. Hello. Hey, Bill. How you doing? Hey, Bill Burr. <laughs> how are you, buddy? Sorry yeah. to wake you, sorry to wake you up. You're in LA uh, doing something? Something something? Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you know that Anthony was pranking you all Saturday night? No, no, we were laughing about it afterwards because I'm so still so new to like hosting a show. I'm literally just dealing with keeping the show going. I'm like, take a caller, keep this going, keep it going funny, you know. I'm a, I was like I like fifty things going on. So when I heard him say that I sit next to you every day. Yeah. I was so in, like, fuck this guy mode. <laughs> I, just thought, I thought he was just, like, I thought he was just some moron who, like, misspoke. Like, I got to sit next to it like he was talking talking about his radio or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, sit next to him. I sit next to the radio and think it's a real person. <laughs> like, Knowing it's yeah. Anthony now, this is so much fun to listen to. <laughs> it is funny. Oh, I live oh, in Connecticut right. when oh, you said that. I live in Connecticut. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you claim to be a smart guy. Anthony, your, uh, your whole fucking bring up that whole fluoride thing, you butchered it beautifully. <laughs> oh, I did. Yeah, you butchered it beautifully. He's saying this. I didn't say any of that shit. Well, I said what you were saying is the fact that they put it in the water to dumb us down after World War II. I know. And then you bring up all the great inventions. The great things that happened. Yeah. Yeah. What about the fact that Norbit is the number one comedy in the fucking country? <laughs> hey, he's got a point there. Eh? All right. He's there are some there. still going to be dummies. I, 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 I didn't went say... went out to Vegas. Have you walked the strip in Vegas and just looked at that fucking dumbed down look on everybody's <laughs> fucking face out there? I didn't say Flora made everyone a genius. I'm just saying it doesn't make everyone a dummy. It's just from people in the 1800s. They got that fire in their eye, Anthony. <laughs> Is that it? They, they want to learn and invent. They're just not, they don't have the, the materials yet. No, you know what it is? I, I said conspiracy theory. What I love about it is the, the, I always believe the first 80% of it, and then it always unravels in, like, the third act, like yes. the final 20%. That's, that's when you come to your. Saying. That's when you come to your senses, Bill. <laughs> and realize that a uh, conspiracy of, of uh, the magnitude that all of your conspiracies would be, it would be impossible.
be impossible. Uh, yeah, a lot of it is. A lot of it. See, he'll never yeah, commit to all of it. Point that I was, that the, which was the point that I actually ended up arriving at. What I love about you, Anthony, is you so fucking hate every opinion that I have that you actually <laughs> listen to my dumb show on <laughs> fucking Saturday night. Bill, I waiting, will not waiting miss to it. Call in. Yeah. I will not miss one fucking episode. <laughs> Gotta <laughs> listen to you. You fucking kill me. I love I hate it. All my opinions, uh, even when I'm not on the fucking show, you have to call in. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hilarious. I want your cell phone number so I can just call randomly and yell at you for your opinions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just start calling me up. Bill, what are you talking about? Yeah, that's idiot. bullshit. <laughs> Dude, congrats, though, man. People liking your show on Saturday. Yeah, it is good, really. Oh, yeah, you yeah. You got a good thing theory, going, theory, so. Theory shit actually ends up being, uh, was, was decent because I'm going to try to get an actual conspiracy theorist fucking guy in there, one of these guys who writes, like, one of those books. I just love talking to him because, uh, like I said, they always make sense, and then in the end, then they'll be like, and then this, and then this, and then, uh, and George Bush is an alien, and then you're like, all right, <laughs> yeah. this guy's out of his hey, fucking mind. Hey, do we land on the moon, Bill? That's a, that's a, I, I, I don't know. That's a big one. As far as conspiracy, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's go. a biggie. Did I you? Know, but I can't, if I, like, yeah, I don't put anything, uh, I don't put anything past anybody. <laughs> all I know is you got a bunch of nerds looking at fucking Pluto, but every time they look at the moon, they, how come they never see that little car that we left up there? <laughs> see the car. <laughs> That's his argument, because we never see the car when we look through a telescope. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you can see fucking Pluto, why wouldn't you see, like, you know... Hey. You should be able to see the car, the tang. Hey, he's on to something. Now, you, you might be turning me. Like, not one shot where one astronomer's like, hey, this is kind of cool. I, I'm going to focus in on the little car. Well, they left right, a mirror up there. Opie. They Bill, have I'm left... Obi, listen. Yeah. When you get to this point of the argument, you get a bunch of people calling in agreeing, and then some astronaut calls in and fucking blows the whole thing up. It's perfect. Do you know they left a mirror up there that they uh, point a laser at and uh, bounce it off, and it comes back to Earth so they can measure the distance between the Earth and the moon at any given moment, and um, that that is evidence that you know we've been up there. Is it, Anthony? Why don't you get me a picture of that mirror? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And whenever you bring up somebody like, well, you know, there are government people, agencies that take care of that and stuff, he goes, oh, they're in the Matrix. They're, they're the part Matrix. of the Matrix, exactly. so Dude, you can't oh, yeah, uh, trust the them. You know yeah, what? he was saying the dentists are in the Matrix. <laughs> Bill might have just turned me. I want a picture of the buggy. Oh, you want a picture of the like, buggy? Yeah, I'm not even kidding. Why not oh, one but... shot? You know why? Because uh, you're onto something. This weekend in uh, one of the papers in New York, they showed an unbelievable picture of Saturn like you've never seen it before. If you haven't seen it yet, Google Saturn, I guess. It'll show you the latest picture. It's amazing how yeah, crystal you know, clear everything kind of is. What scale that is? That's like nothing. You'd have to zoom in really close. You know how much further Saturn is than the moon and they could get this hey, shot going? Put it this way. We Obi. have satellites orbiting Obi. Earth. Listening to Anthony? Yeah. Really listen to his point. Do you know how much you'd have to zoom in? He really sounds just as dumb as he's just making the shit up. Let me, th you know, Bill, you are hysterical. Dude, how about this? Google how Earth can Google Earth could take my Google child, Earth can. My You're right. childhood home, and I can see what's in the backyard yeah. right now. So yeah, show me the buggy. And put on the a moon. satellite as show close the as buggy. the Google satellite. Show me the buggy. The satellite that Google gets the pictures on. Put it that close to the moon, and you'll get the picture of the buggy. Show me the buggy. You can't get a picture of the buggy because, like you said, look at Google Earth. It's hey. a satellite in orbit around Earth. That's like Hold on. not that high. Up. You can see that creepy face on Mars. They should be able to show me a buggy. No, they're, they're looking at entirely different. That was from a satellite. <laughs> I don't. I don't <laughs> care. Doesn't have to be accurate. Something's going on here. Get me a picture of that fucking car up there. Yeah. I'll get you a picture of the car if I have to take it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Billy. Hey, that's pretty good though. Love, if you think about it. I love his whole thing. That would be. But cool I hate everything he says. <laughs> Dude, that would be a cool picture by some astronomer yeah, to get that they? picture. It'd be get creepy. the buggy. It'd be creepy as shit that that buggy's just been sitting there for, what, close to uh, 40 years now? Just sitting there. Just sitting there? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, they, 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 they did like a drive-by on the moon. Said, yeah. They threw a well, fucking bathroom close. window, like mirror out the window, and, uh, you know. <laughs> a drive-by. Oh, so you're saying we at least got close? But we didn't land. By the way, the Saturn <laughs> pictures are from a satellite that is flying by Saturn on its way to Pluto. Thank you, Matt, in Boston. You get my point, though. Come on. 
You got to believe. You got to believe. Hubble, we went tele- to the moon, for Hubble God's telescope sake. is showing us pictures from the other side of the universe. Show me the buggy. That's because it's focused to go out that far. Well, it's like re- looking through binoculars well, uh, yeah. backwards. Well, refocus. This is the beauty of uninformed. I got these guys <laughs> arguing with each other. <laughs> See? I love You're right. uninformed. And I love that it's uninformed because they'll just talk about shit like they know what they're talking about. Yeah, what else did you talk about over the weekend, Bill? The fluoride? Uh, we just, like, uh, we just, I don't know. We yeah, there just it is. make up shit. We make up stats. It was, and then they got into, somehow, uh, uninformed got into how old is the oldest bitch you ever fucked. <laughs> I think that was a little tangent. Nice. That you took. And some guy called oh, up. Yeah, because Joe DeRosa, yeah. somehow, when he was 27, he hooked up with a 60-year-old woman who was a former uh, backup, backup singer. singer for Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Sinatra, oh, and that, he fucked her. Hey, that's a great so, story. So many She's levels. An that was like one of the best pussy stories ever. And then, then, of course, people started lying. And then we got one guy who actually claimed to have banged, when he was in his, like, 19 or 20, he banged some chick who used to be uh, in James Brown's band. She was, like, in her 40s. So I'm ah, she must have been pretty, uh, she must have still been pretty hot. And the guy's like, nah. Nah, she wasn't. <laughs> nah, nah. I called up at that point as a guy that um, did a maintenance work at a retirement village, and I was fucking all the old widows, but uh, you never took my call. <laughs> yeah, because that one, that one was obviously fake. Yeah, yeah well, it's, hard, it's hard to be a caller. <laughs> hey, going back to conspiracy... <laughs> Going back to conspiracy theories, two things. Take the wig from FBA. Uh, the problem with conspiracy theorists is that they always try to make you prove the accepted facts. And uh, the second thing I wanted to say, what the hell was the second thing? Oh, uh, I think it was on YouTube or one of the video sites. The the new conspiracy is they have a newscast from, I think, somewhere in Britain announcing that the buildings fell 20 minutes before they fell. And that's proving that uh, right. the government was uh, on, you know, that they on 9-11. That's but this video is out there, and they're and somehow it's trying to prove that they actually reported the the falling down of the I think it was the towers. How would they know, and why would they report it, and, and who the and they report it 20 minutes before it actually happened. Yeah, sure that happened. Well, maybe they just got misinformation. Like it was obvious those things were going down, and maybe someone said, "Well, they're going down." I think that's asinine. I do think it's amazing how they they look like they just imploded. I can see why people got freaked out by that. Yeah, it just looked like that. It just looked, yeah. All right, Bill. Well, undisputed uh, or uninformed. Undisputed. Uninformed. I'm sorry. Hey. Oh, yeah. No, I was I was very disputed. <laughs> Un- uh, yeah. Undisputed was Dyson hey, uh, show. Tom, Tom from Connecticut. Thanks for calling. Yeah. No problem, you jackass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bill. All right, guys. Hey, good luck on that thing. How'd you do? Oh, I got it. I got it. Uh, I'm doing it today. It's oh, like a good. fucking mob guy. Hey, good luck on that thing. You know that thing. That thing. Yeah, break a leg, you bastard. You All know, right. You know I'll I love you, Bill. Later. All right, we'll see you soon, Bill. Bill Burr, everyone. All right. Uh, well, you you got in two other times as Tom in Connecticut. No, this uh, is all still part of the same. It's call. Still part of the same call. I just wouldn't hang up. And, I, and and when he was like, he'd kind of get to a, all right, all right, like we wanted to finish up, I'd, st- I'd start yelling more. Yeah. <laughs> I know how to stay on as a caller. That's one thing I, well, I and, learned. <laughs> and you got to know, like, the personality, like Bill Burr. Like, he, yeah, yeah. you got to push the button. Yeah, and, he can't help himself. He pushes his button, you're going to stay on yeah. the with him. So uh, this next clip, Tom, Anthony, talks about a book written about an oil conspiracy. That Bill reads, uh, Bill read. Tom says he read as much as Anthony did. You now, might remember yeah, that I, famous. Yeah, it, it was. B- B- Bill gave me this book on this oil industry conspiracy. I read like twenty pages and realized this guy was just a fucking jackass. And uh, didn't read the book. So I described the book to Bill and then described how much I read. And it's the exact same story I gave him. Right. It's the same fucking story. And he still didn't catch on there. Oh, here it no. is. Let me ask you a question. Can you at least give me one? Not no one. Give, you said 20. I've said 20 different yeah. conspiracy theories. I want to hear. Get, rattle off like seven of them. One's the World Trade Center. I thought it was you've, you've talked about that one. I never one talked about that one. This conspiracy with that stupid book that you recommended, with that fucking guy that traveled around with the oil conspiracy. Did you read it? I read half of it. I read enough of it. I read as much as Anthony read. Tell, tell me about it. Tell me about it. And then you have the, another no, 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 no. Tell me about the book. Tell me about the book. You read the book. I want to hear about it. It's yeah. funny knowing it's you, man. Guy, he wants to be some fucking secret agent. He was some tell me worker. about the book. <laughs> tell me. You're not yeah. telling me about the book. You didn't read the book. Right. Okay. It's written by this guy who is this low-level 
fucking government worker that wants to be this hero, so he talks like he's a secret agent. Meanwhile, he was a paper. No, this is your opinion. This is your opinion on the book. You're not even saying what. My opinion. You're not saying what it's about, sir. The book stunk. I read like a. You know, all right, hang on. All right, Tom. You know what, Tom? You have to keep calling in. I'm loving you, hating me. <laughs> no, you know something. You, you all the time have these conspiracy theories. Tell me where the fucking fluoride water isn't that the government they can drink it. First of all, he makes it. He does, all, can, can, my... can you just fan yourself for half a second? First of all, I said I get like eighty percent of the way, and dude, I definitely thought. Well, the guys putting it in the water also have kids who are going to be drinking water, and I brought that up. But maybe I didn't bring it up here. Yeah. Like I brought that up, My, but I didn't feel the need to yell at it. There, angry guy, you, angry Tom in Connecticut. Your you changed your toothpaste for it. You you actually were proactive because of some bullshit story that you actually. This believed. is dude. dude. It, it's 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 fifty fucking fifty. I gotta, the way I look at it. I gotta jump. Stupid. I gotta jump in with this. I like this. how this guy is not a scientist on, every, on any level, yet he knows I everything. I am a scientist. Why, why was Joe trying to... Joe DeRose is the other guy that Bill does the show with. Why was he trying to jump in? It sounds like he was trying to jump hmm. in because he just knows... That yeah, he kind of knew. No, he actually... Uh, when he does come in... Because I think the next clip, Joe, will come in. Uh, he just wanted to reiterate the fact that Bill is insane. And oh. he goes to the utmost length <clears throat> to pull a conspiracy theory out of thin air. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. So I think in this next clip, actually, Joe, Joe explains what he was about to All get right, into. This. this is the final clip with, quote, Tom in Connecticut. Tom in Connecticut. Uh, A.K.A. Anthony. Joe DeRosa talks about another of Bill's theories. Bill finally has enough of Tom. Tom calls Bill a douchebag before hanging out. <laughs> of course I had to. The whole time, Bill Burr has no clue he's talking to Anthony. I, I got to oh, jump in. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I got to jump in with this. It's just too perfect of a time because this, this guy is fucking okay. This right. guy is railing right. Bill for how paranoid he is. I was over Bill's house one day, and you know those games they have like at the top of the MySpace page, Danny, right? Yeah. Where it's like it's like you play it with your mouse and it's like win beat the rabbit in a race and win an iPod. And you have to click the mouse. Yeah, it's really like a terrible flash game. Bill is playing it and I'm standing there watching him, and he go, He turns, he goes, you know, these fuckers, you know who makes these games is the fucking companies that make the mouse. And that way I fucking keep clicking it, and I break the fucking mouse, and I gotta go buy a new mouse, because I'm trying it's to beat a theory. goddamn, I'm trying to win a fucking PlayStation 3, and I just go, dude, you are out of your fucking mind. <laughs> but dude, I'm only 80, I'm only like 80%, alright Tom, you've yelled at me enough. <laughs> call, call, in, call in in a month, dude. You gotta save that anger, dude. I'll see you at the after party. I will see you at the after party. All right. Right. Okay, Come all right. Down. I'll buy you a drink, Come all right? Down. All right, Tom, thanks for listening and yelling at me. Douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. I had to call him a douchebag. You told him at the, at the party, party, I guess? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He knew, though, uh... Before then, and it sucks because I was driving into town at that point. I was actually driving. The only reason we're blowing up your spot is because the listeners blew it up. Yeah, because you would have you would have been able to keep this up for weeks. I was driving in and uh, going through the Midtown Tunnel. Uh, the signal cut out, and then when I popped out the other end, I heard, I thought that was him, because, and then I heard the conversation of how uh, uh, they knew it was me, but I, I didn't hear how they actually found out. Why do, like, the, why do the listeners feel like they have to be do-gooders all the time? I know. That's Anthony. Why can't you guys do your part and, 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 and let a bit develop and continue? Yeah, it could have been good if on I the message been boards, from I, I see that on the message boards. All of a sudden, someone blows up uh, our spots. Like, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you let it go a little longer? Why do you have to be the one that knows all? Well, it might not be Tom from Connecticut, but believe me, I will fucking get him again. Yeah. <laughs> I, will, I don't care who I got to be from what stupid state. <laughs> Very good. I, I will not leave Bill alone. That's funny. I, the theory with the mouse thing is pretty good. Yeah, I, I know. like it. Right when he said that, see, Opie looks at me and starts nodding like, hey, I like you that. know, that's good. You're a lot like Bill with that whole, uh, all that conspiracy shit. I can believe in some shit. Yeah. I, I know I can believe in some shit. It's like, I never heard of that angle, though. The but mouse like, company puts it out because you're clicking because a mouse can only take 683 billion <laughs> clicks. Well, yeah. That, you know, and then it, it goes. That's where it falls apart. I guess. <laughs> but when has a mouse ever broken on anybody? Where it's been the button, yeah, and that from no abuse or anything, just clicking your mouse, it's, it will last a lifetime. It's usually like the fucking optical light will break or the ball if I'm you have one of those with something I'm, fucked up. I was gonna date myself. It used to be the hair and the the little... cord will fuck you up on it. But the clicking of the fucking thing, yeah. never. I've never seen the fucking button break. It used to just be hair and lint that would get caught. From clicking on it, that's, that's what fun. it is. From clicking on it. Yeah, he's getting good reviews on his show, though. I haven't yeah. really heard it yet, but I hear uh, hear good things. He's got uh, good energy. 
All right, we uh, we'll take a break here and get into some other things. Right. All right. 